Hey everybody, Mile here, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon, doing some of that VGC 2017 preparation battles. We have an opponent from Japan, we're going to 1502, and we're, I think, at 1530. We're still using our Slow King Trick Room team, as I really want to use it. We got Politoed also. Um, actually, Politoed does not look bad here. He's also running, ooh, he's running Slowbro and Slow King. That is, that is cool to see. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Polito does not look bad here, though. Slow King. I want to bring you. What do you help me with here? You have flamethrower. You could help with the uh, the Alolan Executor. Um, let's go with. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go with Slow King. Then let's go with Hariyama, then let's bring Politoed in the back, and then I think maybe Snorlax. Or Celesteela. Actually Mimikyu. Mimikyu. We're not even gonna bring our powerhouse Snorlax this game. If we do, we get rid of Politoed for it. Do we do we do that? Um You have I forget if you're Earthquake or High Horsepower. You are Earthquake. So I could do that, but I'm not going to. I want to use Politoed, so we're going to do it. Probably not the best option, but you know what? That's okay. Because, you know, I just want to have fun, improve while I have fun. Even if my team or my team picks aren't good right now, at least I will improve by learning my Pokemon and my opponent's Pokemon and what to expect. Or potential possibilities. And so he's gonna lead with Machamp and Slow King. I'm surprised I didn't see anybody running Machamp until like recently, like just now. Um, you know, I think we just go for a, a flamethrower on Machamp and a knockoff onto Slow King. I think that's what we do. I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. But I'm not even going to go for fake out pressure right now. Because I could have... Ooh, weakness policy? Wow. That's kind of cool. It'd be, I mean, I kind of wish that, you know, since I went for knockoff, I would knock off the weakness policy and it wouldn't get affected. But hey, we have psychic. Okay. Was he fling? What the heck? What the heck? Um, let's go with Mimikyu right now. I think his slow king was faster than my slow king. I slack off and then can I battle claw the slow king? What do I have in the back? What do I have in the back? Politoed? Okay, yeah. Let's um... I should shadow claw the slow king because he got the weakness policy boost. I sh he should be the priority. I also think I shouldn't bring both of my Trick Room setters. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we get rid of the Slow King. Then we see a Stone Edge connect to my Slow King. It's a crit, okay, he's down no matter what. I have no idea if the crit mattered. I don't think it did based on how low the HP I was. But now we have Toad. I think I can protect with Politoed. Play rough the Machamp. Because my disguise isn't broken with Mimikyu. And then go for a Parish Song. I think I can do that. Yeah, I might be able to do that. And then hopefully we can win with a Parish Song. I haven't seen Protect on Machamp. It's Executor. Uh oh. Uh-oh. 
citrus berry. Uh, it's fine. I think I have to protect here though. And still go for what I originally said. I can play rough the the executor. I don't know if it's a one hit KO though. I don't know any damage calx on executor. <laughs> I'm almost certain that Play Rough would one hit KO the Machamp though. Hmm. I feel like Executor is the bigger threat though, right? Alright, I gotta go for Executor because I think he's the bigger threat. He's I mean he's pretty tall, so you know he's pretty big. So he's obviously a big threat. Play rough. Not enough, dang. Stone Edge, that's gonna bust my disguise. I could have knocked you out. And then Leaf Storm. Ooh, we protected that though. Um let's go for a Let's go for a Scald on the Machamp here. And a play rough on the Executor. Let's try this. Because assuming I connect my play rough, Executor. Actually, he doesn't go down? Okay. Marowak. Marowak avoids it. That's that's fine, I suppose. Scald's gonna hurt. Dynamic punch. That's gonna hurt a bit too. <laughs> and it's gonna confuse me, okay. But we have the citrus berry. Excuse me. I should have knocked out my champ, I think. Um, obviously we're just gonna stall Marowak and go for a play rough into my champ. I just need to get rid of my champ, I think. My champ's just kinda sitting there. I'm just kinda letting my champ get free roam. That's one of the things that I need to stop doing. Even if I don't feel too threatened by him. I shouldn't I shouldn't know if I'm threatened by him or not. I should still feel like he's a threat because I don't have all his moves written down like Dynamic Punch. I didn't know he had that. And that kind of, you know, didn't expect it. Marowak protected itself. We're going to play rough here. So Machamp's going down. And then we're going to go for the Parish Song. Just confused. Okay. Actually, the Parish Song I don't think is safe. I don't think I should do it. I think the safest play is to Scald the Alolan Marowak, and I honestly think that going for the Scald on Alolan Marowak is going to be safer. Or would Parish Song be safer? Can I Encore Marowak into Protect? Can we try that? Play Rough into the Executor? That might be the safer bet. Because I know this is going to knock out Ex Executor. It's just easy. I think my Mimikyu's Disguise... Yeah, my Mimikyu's Disguise busted and he's not really doing much about it. White Toad used Encore. So I think we encored him into Protect. Yep, we did. Great. That's perfect. And then... I mean, I could Parish Song, but I just feel like that would be, you know, bad-mannered. I'm just gonna try and knock it out as quick as possible now. I don't feel like Parish Song is, uh... <laughs> he's gonna Protect. I should've, I should've Parish Songed. <laughs> he's gonna get the Protect. I should've Parish Songed. I'm gonna do it next turn, you know? I'm just gonna do it next turn. Cause if he's pair if he's, you know, encored into it and he's actually getting them. Note to self, it's not bad mannered if it basically secures me the victory and it's gonna be the safer option. Shadow Claw, 50%, okay, okay. Should've did that last turn.
Scald the Marowak, and Shadow Claw the Marowak, and it should just knock it out. Alright, there we go. And it's a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered. I don't think it did, because last time I don't think it was a crit, and it was still like 50%. So we were able to pick up a win with this team against the Executor team. That was pretty cool to see. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all the good stuff. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. So thanks again, and goodbye, friends.